welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial today we are going to model a simple motor in SOLIDWORKS uh, we will see how to make each and every part and assemble at the end it is simple model for beginners so let's start how to do in SOLIDWORKS Welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial. Today we are going to start our part of motor. First part front cover. So let's start. Choose top plane, sketch. Select circle and draw one circle from origin point. Keep diameter 130 mm. Okay, now select extruded boss. 170 mm reverse direction ok now choose chamfer distance distance 40 mm select this outer surface sketch now select shell keep 2 mm we want to keep 2 mm wall select this portion ok now it becomes hollow see now choose front plane plane and we want to create one plane here keep distance 75 mm select ok now Select this plane, sketch, normal. Now select corner rectangle and draw one corner rectangle. Now exit from the rectangle. Select center line and draw one center line. Now exit. Now select this line this line and center line and click here symmetric now this symmetric now assign distance keep 2.5 mm ok now select extruded boss select up to next reverse direction up to next see reverse direction up to next ok now hide this plane choose circular pattern select this cutout choose this as a axis and we want 35 number of fins this is heat resisting fins ok now see it is created now select section view ok select front view sketch normal now select a line and draw a line from this point to this point now exit again choose this line select up to this line this point and up to this point now exit from the line and choose this line horizontal this is already horizontal now select now delete this line again choose a line and define from here to this line and up to this point now delete and delete this excess line now ok 
select this line choose vertical okay now select dimension select this line keep 2.5 mm okay now select one center line and draw one center line select revolve to cut okay now exit from the section view see this outer cover of fin almost ready select this face sketch normal now draw one circle here and keep diameter 20 mm select extruded cut keep through all okay now select right plane choose plane and we want to create one plane from just near to 100 mm okay now select this plane sketch normal select corner rectangle and draw one rectangle here now we will assign dimension 60 mm 60 mm okay now select center line and draw one center line from origin point now select this line this line and center line make symmetric okay now assign distance here to this line select 30 mm okay now go to feature select extruded boss choose reverse direction and select up to next this is the up to next select ok hide this plane sorry hide the plane now this is the front cover up for our motor we will assign some color to it select ok now this is the color now we will save it as a front cover save in desktop ok now we will make one cutout here so select this face sketch normal now select convert entities now this face converted select offset entities select this face key 4 mm reverse direction ok now select extruded cut select here this portion and keep 30 mm inside select ok now our motor cover is ready I hope you enjoyed save it now we will go for next part now we will make another part new part ok just change background now select top plane sketch this is back cover we are going to sketch a back cover circle uh, draw one circle keep diameter 150 mm ok now select extruded boss extend up to 85 mm ok now choose chamfer select distance distance Twenty twenty five mm select top face sketch. Now select shell.
keep 2 mm and select back face ok now this is our back cover now select this face sketch normal select corner rectangle and draw one rectangle now assign distance 5 mm 5 mm ok select extruded cut choose through all ok now we created one hole now we will make multiple number of holes so there is one command fill pattern this pattern selected we will select this pattern and select this boundary now see it is showing the pattern uh, we, we will decrease see there are multiple numbers gap keep 0 so all area will cover select ok now see there are many holes now select this face sketch normal draw one circle and keep diameter 130 130 mm ok now select extruded boss keep reverse select up to next and keep thickness keep thickness 1.5 mm inside no keep outside select ok select this part go to appearance and select this ok now this is our back cover save it back cover so this is our front and back cover ready we will see our next part welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial now we are going to make another part for motor assembly so let's make cover so choose top plane sketch now draw one center rectangle and assign distance 60 by 60 ok now select extruded boss select up to 15 mm ok now make chamfer 3 mm top and select this all edges ok now choose shell keep 3 mm select the back, back face ok now assign color to this part ok now this is the color for our top cover of motor and save it as a cover motor now we will make another part select top plane sketch now we will make, make motor rotor sorry select circle and draw one circle and keep diameter 19 mm ok now select extruded boss extrude up to 200 mm
select ok now select this face sketch and draw one circle here and keep dimension diameter 60 mm ok now select this circle convert entities ok now select extruded boss keep reverse direction and select seventy mm and uh, okay reverse direction seventy mm that's it select okay now select this face sketch normal select a line and draw one geometry from here to here exit now just we want to cut it all so just select extrude cut select through all ok now choose circular pattern select this as a axis keep three numbers of cutout we want three number of cutouts extruded cut selected ok now the whole body we will select some material uh, we will choose some metal like steel ok this is the steel some surfaces we will change color surfaces we will make some copper this surface and select this surface ok select this surface copper this surface copper this is our stator sorry this is our rotor so save it as a rotor now make another part now we are going to make stator so select top plane sketch and now we will do one thing select circle and draw one circle from origin point assign diameter 60 mm ok now select extruded boss select 70 mm and choose thin feature 30 mm outside ok now assign polished copper or there is one more copper satin finish ok sandblasted copper now save it as a stator ok now we will make next part choose top plane sketch select corner rectangle and draw one rectangle from here now again draw one rectangle now exit
now assign dimension 160 mm 50 mm fifty five mm and this length one thirty mm and this length keep fifty mm okay now select this line and this line collinear okay now select trim trim inside parts inside lines okay select extruded boss select 30 mm keep angle 40 degree okay now select this face sketch normal Select corner rectangle, draw one rectangle, select extruded boss, 10 mm, but keep reverse direction, ok. Now we will make mirror, so select mirror, select this face, choose the body. select ok now this mirror select front plane sketch normal draw one center line exit choose a circle and draw one circle now exit Assign diameter 160 175 mm Ok Now select this circle And this line Tangent Ok Now select extruded cut Choose mid plane, select OK. Now select the whole part and assign color blue. OK. Now save this part as a stand now let's go for assembly now we forget to do some modification select this edit assign distance between this keep 65 mm only select exit see now save it edit and select this distance keep 150 mm exit now our base is ready the whole base we selected we will select little dark ok now save it for stand welcome back to CAD CAM tutorial today we are going to start motor assembly in our last lecture we created all the parts so let's start choose new assembly now browse all the parts select this all parts select open now open one by one
choose plane select this part fixed okay select float now rotate this part okay now choose mat select this and inside okay now select inside and this keep symmetric okay now select this inside and this one make reverse okay now you can little drag inside no problem now you can drag it here select this top surface and select this surface choose okay this surface and this surface okay this surface and this surface okay now the cover is fixed now we need to fix this select rotate okay now just drag it here okay now select this part motor front cover and click edit part okay first save save as assembly motor assembly exit open part now we want to do some modification here select right plane sketch choose normal select section view okay now select corner rectangle select 20 mm ok drag it little up to this line ok select one center line and draw a center line from origin point now select revolve cut we are going to cut through this ok section view see this portion is created now cancel select changes in front cover yes now changes in assembly yes now see in assembly it is already cut now select this face mat this face but keep some distance select 2 mm ok ok now we want to fix this face select this line mat we are looking some parallel line which helps us select this this line
choose parallel not coming perpendicular clear select right plane and select this face choose parallel ok select ok now our motor assembly ready this is the our motor we made in solidworks i hope you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to share and like this video thanks for watching